Hello and happy Sunday, LinkedIn. I'm here reviewing the new Azure Connect body tracking SDK 1.3 version 0.9.4. And they added some new enhancements here. Let's go through them really quick. So just take a look at my hand. Uh, they added hand joint support for hand, hand tip, and thumb. These three additional um, functions here. And you can see that with my thumb, the X, Y, and Z transform at the tip of my hand, X, Y, and Z, and at the base of my hand. Eventually in the future, they'll probably integrate the same type of capabilities we see in the HoloLens 2.0, 25-point skeletal hand tracking. I can't wait to get one of those. And hopefully by the end of the year, it's really fantastic. What they've also done is, uh, is added a prediction confidence level for each one of the detected joints. Um, this was incredibly necessary. And uh, finally, uh, they added CPU support by changing the CPU-only mode um, in this K, uh, K4 ABT, ABT underscore tracker configuration dot T, if you change that to CPU, it'll actually run on CPU and you don't need a very powerful GPU to run this platform, right? Already you can run up to seven cameras on one computer and then basically connect them all together to capture a really highly resolute volumetric point cloud. We've been testing some of that and it's just fascinating and incredible, especially if we couple these capabilities and enhancements with robotics. I've been working at the University of Washington in their AI robotics lab on their Musher platform, which is utilizing the Intel RealSense D435 and a LiDAR sensor. If we had a lot of these type of sensors, 6, 7, 15, 20, connected over the network, we could actually stream in real time a, a, a volumetric point cloud uh, for these robotic systems to actually manipulate uh, you know, their, their environments. Just unbelievable how, how fast and this is moving. It's exponential about an order of magnitude. But what you also need to do when you, uh, when you upgrade to this uh, SDK 1.3, you have to upgrade your firmware and you have to just essentially uh, go open a command prompt file. I have that right above me right here. And you'll, you'll navigate to the SDK folder, um, backslash is your connect DK, and then you're gonna underscore uh, firmware, underscore 1.6, and then your bin file. And you just press enter once you're in that file and it'll upgrade the, uh, the firmware of your camera and reboot and you'll have uh, the opportunity to, to view these enhancements within the new SDK. Uh, but please reach out and let me know if you have any questions about you know, this particular sensor or the capabilities or the integrations in spatial computing, augmented reality, um, and you know, volumetric telepresence and robotics uh, in, in, via artificial intelligence. But thank you guys so much for tuning in on this Sunday and I uh, can't wait to talk to you soon. Have a great week.